It's the largest ever gathering of American and Chinese officials taking part in the strategic and economic dialogue. The aim, promoting greater cooperation between the world's most developed economy and its most developing one. Both sides know there are obstacles. There will be intense competition. We will have intense disagreements. That's the nature of international relations. But there are important issues where we don't see eye to eye. But it doesn't mean we should stop working hand in hand because we don't see eye to eye. As long as our two countries adopt an overall perspective, respect and accommodate each other's core interests, and be committed to a constructive approach to reduce misunderstandings and miscalculations, we can manage our differences and maintain our common interests. Common interests like containing nuclear activity in Iran and the Korean Peninsula. Fight and praise China's role there, as well as its contribution in the fight against global terrorism and the push for peace in Afghanistan and Sudan. But the differences have been a source of public tension. Disagreements like China's role in the South China Sea and cyber hacking, with both sides accusing each other of not doing enough to fight it and even engaging in it. Still, both sides agree that as the world's two biggest economies, cooperation is crucial. Both our nations also have a strong stake in the international financial architecture, and we believe China should work with us to maintain and advance high standards in international financial institutions as we address the challenges of the 21st century together. It's normal that China and the U.S. would disagree during these kinds of exchanges. Economic cooperation is about the exchange of interests. So it would be unusual to not have disagreements. There is a Chinese saying, even among brothers, accounts should be settled without ambiguity, not to mention among two countries. That desire for clarity is precisely what these talks are all about. And if previous years offer any indication, we can expect a whole host of agreements to be signed during these exchanges. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV in Washington.